I use drawing in a way to, to discover things, to work things out, to understand things, to understand objects. I draw objects uh, over and over again in a, in a sort of quite a repetitive way in a way, but that each uh, time I redraw an object, it helps me to understand the object and how it's actually been put together. I made a decision when I had my first child that I wanted to be a full-time mother. So because I spend quite a lot of time at home and have done for the past 20 years or more, I enjoy the objects that are at home and I do a lot of domestic activities. So I, I cook a lot, I bake a lot and I really enjoy those activities. The actual tools that I use to do those things actually start to have quite a strong resonance for me and quite a strong emotional tie. So they trigger, they trigger things in me that make me want to look at them in a different way and drawing them just makes me see them on, at a different level really. When I've drawn things for quite a long time, it quite often triggers me off to physically make something and the wire work is um it's kind of a cross between the two because it's the it's using the line but it's using the line in a three-dimensional way so i i can i physically enjoy actually making the the yeah. object i have this basket that was my grandmother's um salad basket which was a really old-fashioned um wire basket which you would wash the lettuce and put the lettuce in and then you'd swing it around and it would get rid of all the water and this was something as a child that I remember doing really fondly it's just one of those memories that has stuck with me and because my grandmother actually brought me up there's just a very strong emotional response to that. I realised after starting to make them where those kind of things had come from. So quite often I make work and in the beginning I quite often don't really know where it's come from or where, why it started. But when I look back on it, when I'm looking at work as it's been finished or even sometimes quite a while later, I can actually see yeah. reasons why that, that has um, been made in a way. And I've always loved so much, so many of her kitchen objects and baking with her. And then with my own children, I really enjoyed, but like we'd bake every day because sometimes, you know, we'd just, oh, what should, if we were stuck for something to do, we'd bake something. And um, so I suppose that's where the sort of baking, sort of kitchen, sort of in utensils came into I'd been using them for so long that I started to then draw them um, but they have to be I, um, sort of something that visually I find interesting or I find beautiful as well so with the brush drawings which is the most recent set of drawings it's a collection of brushes from different times over different years and some of the, them have been used, some of them have just been in the house for, for a long time. One of the drawings is of a brush which was the hairbrush when both my daughters were babies and then other brushes are vegetable brushes that I've used for scrubbing vegetables or brushes that I've bought just because I thought that they were a really beautiful handmade object. In this exhibition there isn't actually any actual hair work other than the drawing of the hair on the brushes but I do have an interest in, in using hair in work so I think that's partly why I find the brushes really interesting because of all the, um, the bristles and the hair in them. I'd start making drawings in the morning and by the afternoon and the early evening the shadows had changed and I quite like that, I like the way 
if you draw something over a period of time or over a period of different days, you're drawing the same object, but it actually changes because of different light conditions or even the way you're looking at it is, is a different way on a different day.